There was an interesting press statement from this group of Evergrande creditors, for example, and yeah. they basically said that, that that meeting that was scrapped was just a complete surprise. What, what else do we know about that? Yeah, well, the, the, the thing with Evergrande was a few weeks ago, it, it said that it cannot go on with the restructuring plan of, yeah. of, uh, because of regulatory hurdles. And the creditors have now come out to say that came as a complete surprise. They were left in the dark uh, by Evergrande for that surprise decision. So, we we could tell from that statement itself that you know some creditors were expecting some kind of plan to form some kind of resolution to this two year two year and a half you know restructuring long process um, and now it seems like everything's just headed to chaos and uh, that really raises the probability again for the liquidation hearing on October 30s in Hong Kong I think a lot of creditors are probably quite angry that the plans that they've discussed over the years have not really materialized so that's a key again a key risk for Evergrande as a company uh, you know what is going to be left of its assets and mm. what is going to be left of Hui Ka Yen's assets as well uh, October 30 yes